Hello guys again and welcome to my channel here Cheerful Dev I hope you are doing good I hope you are having a beautiful week and I hope you are enjoying your weekend too and uh, thank you for subscribing to this channel I hope you will love uh, the contents of this channel here and if you are new hit the subscribe button like this video if you do like what we do and I hope you will be enjoying everything we do so uh, let's get started with this video in uh, in a previous uh, episode uh, as you will see here in the top corner we created an ER application just in 20 minutes if you want to check it just click the link in the top corner here and you will uh, make one and so basically we created just a basic uh, uh, application just so we can see how we can uh, play with the ER in the Vivoria in Unity in this episode here we are going to see how we can uh, add an animation and play this animation with a button so you will be uh, playing a simple animation and you can use uh, a button to play this animation and stop it this method you can apply it to any animation let's say you have um, someone running or your player you want your player to be running uh, <laughs> running around the house <laughs> you can you can do this stuff just using this simple stuff here so i already created this uh, house here it's a simple house that i found on uh, google uh, polygon uh, shapes you can find the link in the description to download the, this uh, house if you want to it's just a barn and i already added an image target to it and everything uh, again go check the episode the previous episode so you can see how you can add uh, an image target and how you can add a, a model to this image target so you can see it in your ar camera so now i need to add an animation to this house uh, so it's easy right guys i will uh, before this i will go to my asset area here and i will create a folder i will give it the name animation just like this just for the sake of uh, organization i will create another fo folder and i will give it the name scripts so we are going to be creating a basic and a simple script so here inside my animation folder i will select my barn here so the house that i want to animate i will click window animation and i will select animation and here i will hit the create button it will give me to create a new animation i will make sure that i'm inside my animation folder here I will give it a, a name just uh, rotate anim something like this like rotate animation not anime like anime uh, well this is just an animation so uh, I love anime of course I watch a lot of anime if you guys want uh, any suggestion from anime just comment below and I will give you my best anime for this uh, winter uh, 2020 so here I will create uh, click uh, save so I have my animation here and uh, while I'm selecting my barn here, my house here, I will click this add uh, property and I will add the transform. I will select this rotation here. So I will add a rotation. I want to rotate my, my house. So uh, before you create the animation, make sure you create this record button here. So when you click this one, it will record anything that you do right now. So what I want is to animate this house, right? I want to rotate this house. This, this is the simple animation I will be doing in this episode. I want to rotate this house. So what I'm going to do, this is the beginning of my animation, those two keyframe here, and this is the end of my animation. And in, I will select those two one here. So I want my animation uh, to be a rotation like uh, 360 degree. So I will go here to my y, ax uh, uh, y axis here and I will add this one so when I click play you will see the house is rotating just like this but as you can see the rotation is really really fast so I will drop the frame only to this and I will see now oh it's still it's still fast so I will add uh, in my animation here let's make it into uh, a longer animation let's say for two seconds so just like this to move it here right here and now if i click play um, the house is rotating very 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 cool so uh, I'm, I'm okay with this so i will hit this record button to save uh, my recording and i will close the animation window and here you will see in the animation folder i just created i have 
this barn one here this is the controller and here i have the animation rotation that i created and if you select the barn the house i mean you will see we have now here an animator it means that we added an animation to our uh, house here now this is the rotation animation but we need an idle animation it means uh, i when i click play i will rotate the house and when i click stop i want to stop the house from rotating so we need to create another animation but this time uh, <laughs> but this time i will open the animator window so go to window here go to animation and select the animator so there is an animation where we create animation and there is the animator and this one come from animation control it means animator so in here if you will see here with me i have the uh, rotate anim this is the animation so the moment we start the game when we enter the game we will rotate the the, the house but i don't want the house to be rotated directly i want it to be in an idle position and when i click play i will rotate the house so what i'm going to do is click here uh, right click i will create a state and create an empty one so it will give me a new state i will change the state name here in the inspector and i will give it this idle name here and i will double uh, right click it and i will uh, choose this set as layer default state so when the animation when uh, i play the game it will directly go to this idle animation and when i click play i will go to the rotate animation so how are we going to add this play and stop button it's really easy guys now we are done with the animation and stuff like this i will select my ar camera here because i want to add my button to my ar camera so here i will select my ar camera i will do a right click i will go to this ui here and i will select a button simply just like this and here you will notice with me here in the game scene uh, here I divided my uh, my uh, windows into two uh, w uh, windows here so I will I will see this scene here and I have a game view right here so I will just scroll back a little bit like this and here I have my button in uh, the middle here of my, my house and as you can see it's here so I will select the move tool and I will move this button just around this area here and I want to change it's uh, scaling so i want it to be just like this or i can make it like this so this this seems to be cool and i will make the button just a little bit bigger because uh, the button is too small right now so something just like this and something like this so we can see it clearly guys uh, i will just keep it in this area here so we can see it and I will rename the button just uh, double click and I will rename this button into play and you will notice we have this uh, little arrow here right so if I click it it will show the text so this is the text I have inside my button I will rename this text to play and I will make uh, the font size uh, bigger so we can we can see the the play here I will not do anything i will not change a font or anything we are going to just keep it this uh, sample and now i will duplicate this button i will do command d or control d on my keyboard so we will have a duplicate of this button here i will rename this one to stop so we'll stop the animation it's stop not <laughs> at the top so i will click the stop button i will uh, select my move tool and i will move it just around here and of course we click the little arrow we select the text inside of it and we change it to stop so here we have two buttons now what we need to do is to add a script to those buttons right so select your ar camera here and go to this add combo uh, <laughs> sorry guys and go to this add component so you click here and you create a script i already uh, tested this and i created a script like this so let me do it again you click add component in here in the top corner you just write the name of your script make sure the first uh, letter is uh, a capital one so i will do this rotate rotate uh, house rotate house like this 
and when you finish uh, writing the name click this new script once you click it it will give you the name of your script and this button here so i will cre uh, create and add once you've done that it will try to recharge something i will do this ignore button here i don't need to research anything i will open unity and here we have the rotate house as you can see we have this script right now here now if we go back we will see this script is added to our asset folder i will drag this script into my folder scripts this i created and now uh, i will open this script in uh, visual studio just right here as you can see this is my script here if i can uh, zoom in a little bit <laughs> i can't uh, okay anyway here i will create uh, a variable so this variable will be a, a public variable so i will create a public and what we want we want the animator because we need to animate our uh, house right so i will create an animator and i will give it the name my rotate just something like this so we have this simple my rotate here and uh, here i will create two functions so one will be playing the rotation and one to stop the rotation so i will create a public void i will give it the name uh, let's say play rotate just like this uh, if there is errors don't mind them guys <laughs> so this is play uh, rotate and here i will call my animator so my rotate i will do this uh, play and here we open those uh, parentheses and we open those and inside here we will write the name of the animation and you need to make sure that you write the uh, the right name so i will go to my asset folder to the animation and i will click this rotate anim here and i will copy this name so when i go back here to visual studio i will uh, just uh, paste this uh, name here and here i have my animation to play and now we need to stop rotation so again a public void and i will do this uh, stop rotate just like this again we open those we open those and here i will play my rotate dot play the one that i created which is the idle so i know its name is idle so uh, i'm pretty sure with the name and you hit uh, save so you can save your script you go back to unity you will wait a moment so the script is saved and added to unity correctly now i will select my ar camera here i will uh, scroll down to see my rotate house as you can see this is the script i created and here i have my rotate uh, public variables i created so this one need an animator to be added to it so what you are going to do i will click uh, the barn house this i created this is the one i added the animation to i just click and drag this one inside this area here and like this i did manage to uh, get access here to my rotation so i have access to the animation and when i play this uh, when I click the play button, I will play the rotate animation and when I click the stop button, I will play the idle animation. Now we are not done yet because we need to add uh, functions to those buttons here. So uh, select the play button and go scroll down and you will, here you will have this on click. It means when we click the play button, what should happen? So you click this plus button here so we can add something and you select your air camera and drag it to this area here so when we drag this one here it means this one now this button have access to all the components in our camera and what we have in our camera of course we have the rotate script and inside our rotate script we have the play rotate so keep trying to find it so here it is the uh, play rotate and i will select it here now i will do the same i will select my stop uh, button here i will add here this function i will add my ar camera and go to my rotate house and click the stop rotate and this way guys we created our uh, ar uh, animation with two buttons now if you go ahead and click this play button here you should see uh, the animation you played 
in an idle position and when you click play it should play the animation that you created and when you click stop it will stop animating so let me show you guys in my phone what i did because uh i exported this this uh, project into my phone so i can show you what it can do so uh here we are guys uh i'm using now the application on my phone and as you can see when i click the play button uh, the uh, the house is uh, rotating just like this as you can see I can move around the house and when I click stop it will stop the rotation and when I click play again it will play it again and when I click stop it will stop correctly so I hope you did like this guys uh, I hope you did find this uh, tutorial useful for you uh, hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel like if you do like which we do <laughs> and I hope to see you guys in the next episode see you soon